All right, we got Wes versus Boom coming up here. Uh, this is a matchup that actually Boom has been wanting for some time. He's only really played against Wes earlier on in the game before he was more experienced with the Dolores and all. I think maybe even before he was really playing the Dolores. And Boom really still didn't have a, a team. Um, and so now that he's kind of settled on this Matenkun, uh, Kula, Cronin team, he's, he's talked a few times about wanting, uh, wanting to see how it goes against Wes. So we'll find out. Boom is someone who can play really lame and likes to play so. Um, but so is Wes. So we're going to see <laughs> who of these two is lamer. I think Matenkun is a really strong character who is, no pun intended, kind of slept on. You see this? He, he does take the gamble. He doesn't keep it safe with the uh, dash punch, but... Um, I mean, he's gotten some good damage here on Mai. He's gotten the corner pressure on her. That's what both of these characters really excel at, is locking you down in this corner like this. They both have, like, pretty good blowbacks. Uh, pretty good pressure tools and ex excellent fireballs. Um, and so the, the only difference here, and you're probably going to notice it if uh, Wes is ever, ever able to get going, is that Matenkun, <laughs> yeah, his EX fireballs really fast, and his EX, uh, he, has a, he has a flash kick, and Mai has no such invisible option. So, we're going to see. Uh, for the most part, Boom seems to be winning this fireball war. And rather than having to feel like he has to engage with the Mai, um, although he does there, um, he can just be kind of content to play this out here. He's, there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. One of them's gonna have to make a move soon. It's pretty even. Mai has a tiny lead, and Wes is gonna opt to just back up here. Losing either of these characters is a big deal for either player here. Oh, that was the longest zero set. That was the Marvel zero seconds. But uh, Boom does manage to time out the Mai and keep a pretty healthy Matenkun at the same time. He does spend most of his meter to get that lead and make sure he secures it against the Mai. Uh, Wes dropping that conversion there. He's been dropping that a lot today in casuals. Um, so we'll see if he can clean that up by the end of the tournament. Goes for a safer dash punch there. Sweeps the leg. Now he's getting the pressure on the Dolores. And absolutely Boone's best character, and he's showing why here. Unfortunately, he gets mashed on, gets mashed on low, and gonna spend the half bar really easy. Yes, uh, today is the monthly. Uh, we got birthday boy Boom here. Um, playing uh, his new, uh, his birthday boy team with Matankun. Um, but actually, cool, uh, cool out now, and this character got uh, pretty, pretty strong uh, with some of the changes in the patch. Um, she's better at anti-airing, she has good damage, um, her DP is really strong, and she's a character you really can't jump against, which is something people love to do in KOF, is jump in on you. And so she can kind of play this lame game, space you with the Ice Breath. Um, her Light Ice Breath is only a little bit minus. If she, uh, and if you think she's going to light ice breath and she gets the heavy off, it's a little bit plus. So it's uh, hard. You kind of have to guess her pressure a little bit. This is going to be a big combo from Lala. La. She spins. She goes Lala, la, la, and she does half your health bar. Um, so that's going to be a that's going to be a solid kill on the Dolores from Kula. And now we have two bar Kula staring down almost five bar Blue Mary. Um, you best bet if you hit this Kula. Actually, uh, well, we'll see if he gets a chance. Goes for the reset, goes low. Uses the one inch punch. So you're gonna see West with Blue Mary a lot, likes to try to get the trade with that launcher she has. And then if you actually get a trade, Mary can recover fast enough to EX slide off of it and get a full combo. But not really getting the kind of mileage that I think he was looking for. Out of the Blue Mary here, he's gonna have to make a, a, a decision really fast. And that's going to be a really solid game from Boom. He showed up today to uh, to play. And he's, like I said, he's been talking about one in this match uh, with Wes uh, a few times now, the last couple times I talked to him. And uh, 
he's he's finally getting to show like, hey, like I can compete, I can beat Wes. What's your guys' problem? Why can't you beat the Mai? Just pick somebody with a better fireball forehead. All right, so going into game two, uh, boom up 1-0. The stare down. Nobody really wanted to throw a fireball. Nobody wanted to jump in. I mean, this is maybe a, this is maybe a really good pick here against the Mai. Like, he really has her same game plan, except he has that flash kick that she doesn't get. And he can kind of throw the fireball, charge down back. And while against some fireball characters, she can jump in on them pretty easy. And they have to be able to do that DP input, like predict and get the DP input. He can just hold down back and react to the, fla the, the jump in with a flash kick. See the sweep there coming out. He has good buttons. He's able to kind of outrange some of the ridiculous button ranges that Mai can fight at. This little poke does the dash punch the second he feels bold enough to press the button. Does the empty jump in and gets thrown for his troubles. Only 27 seconds left on the clock. And Boom's going to close out against the Mayan. That's a really good look for him. He's going he's gonna to get plenty of health back on the Matenkun, being uh, roughly like 80%, 75% left. And uh, having almost a bar to work with here. Going to do the dash punch against the Dolores. Now, Dolores working on three bars. She's not going to... She lost a little bit of damage in the patch, so I don't think she'll quite one-touch Matenkun, even if she gets a good confirm here. Nice flash kick. Reacts to the crossover attempt. And Wes loves going for those cross-ups. And the absolute benefit of the flash kick over having a DP input is that you can hold down and you're not going to get your input crossed up when you try to go for your reversal. You can uh, stuff some of those that uh, most characters get safe jumping. Nice cross-up. Doesn't quite confirm off of it. But establishes the threat that that is something you're going to have to watch out for mid-screen now. Solid fireball game here. Wish the button. Doesn't quite kill the Dolores. Now I think a good confirm here should kill the Matenkun. But he drops it and he's, like I said, he's been dropping that all day. Rolls back, rolls back, there's the fireball and that's gonna close out against the Dolores. Boom still uh, putting on a master class here with Matenkun against, against Wes. He can show that he is in fact the lamer player, but he has the option of that rushdown with the dash punch when he wants it. Does it opt to spend the meter and kill Matenkun? Nice. Flash kicks out of there. Not afraid to show the option. Gets EX slid on. Gonna do the launcher, and that's gonna be a dead Matenkun, but is it too little too late? We're gonna have Akula coming in here with almost two bars. Really strong character, like I said. And I think does a pretty good job against Blue Mary. Gonna shut down most of her air approach. Um, and honestly, like, if you wanted to. So, a bit of a secret against Blue Mary, her EX slide can't catch backdashes. You cannot catch a backdash with an EX slide. So, if he wants to, he can just kind of backdash there a lot. And she's not going to have many answers. If she tries to get in on, um, on Kula, she's going to have to run in like that. There you go. Gonna spend level one, level three here. Not gonna kill the Kula, but that is gonna exhaust. Oh, doesn't get a level three input. Okay, should kill Kula here, but it's gonna cost everything that Blue Mary has. We're gonna have a three bar crone in here. Blue Mary is gonna be pretty healthy as well, so. Now, crone in one of the newer pickups for. for uh, boom, although he's been playing him for a little while casually and floated the idea of having him on the team before. In the new patch, he's definitely one of the strongest anchors in the game. And you've seen a lot of people picking him up recently. It's gonna be a nice confirm there. Doesn't slide, doesn't get the max mode. And now at a little bit of a... Oh, he's gonna get the confirm into the level three? Nice confirm off the counter hit CD, and that's going to be huge damage against the Mary. Stomp, stomp. It goes for the stomp, gets the tech, trades with the launcher, and that's going to be boom 2 0 over Wes. Uh, I don't know if I'd say an upset. Boom.